Legend of Total War here with part 14 of my Crusader Kings 2 Let's Play campaign as the Carling Dynasty Empire of Francia. Alright, so previously we have been conquering a shitload of the Abbasid's territory. I'd say that the majority of it is now under our control. We've established a new king of Persia and a king of Egypt. In addition to that, we've allied ourselves with the Byzantines, not because I need their help, but because I don't want them interfering with my other wars, which has been pretty good so far. Um, I suppose we're just going to continue declaring war on the Abbasids until they're completely gone, because it's just, it's really rich territory, it's helping me make a lot of money, a lot of piety, although I probably should spend the piety a bit more. Who's this guy here? Okay, I'm going to transfer you into here. I'm just sort of doing it gradually to keep this guy under my control. What's, what was his name again? Of, yep. So looking at my... Oh, that's why we're still trying to get high crown authority. There's no real urgency with that. We need about 155 votes. So we've got high centralization. We've got pretty low amount of um, vassals, which is why we, we need to rely on very large kingdom vassals. Alright, so... Maybe maybe we can hit this. How's our military strength? It's pretty strong. Alright, let's do this. Because I would have a lot of troops available with this guy. Oh, I thought I'd get more than that. Alright, um... Hang on, do we have the entirety of the Kingdom of England? Yes, we do. Alright, so... I don't see any reason why I can't give him this title now. Why is this... What's going on here? Okay, well, whatever. Now, does that increase the number of troops I can levy? No. Um, so, yeah. Alright, let's let's do this, and then we should be able to create the Kingdom of Wales. So, let's... let's claim, because we can't, we can't take the piety with us when we're dead, so we might as well spend it now. That reminds me, actually. How... the Pope. If he's got loads of money, we should try and get that off him. Okay, so, just hold off on that for the moment. Request money. He has to accept it. See, look, he's got heaps of cash. Let's get it all off him. Better in my hands than his. Of course he'll hate me for it, but I don't care. Okay, and then once more. Now I saw that it was going to let me make the kingdom of Great Mor- Hang on, what's going on over here? So, Bohemia. Oh, that's right, there's still a rebellion going on here. Who's winning it? So, the revolt is winning for someone else's war for Bavaria. I don't think they will win though, just because the longer it goes on for the rebels, the higher chance they are of winning. They have of winning. Um, Alright. Maybe after I've done the... Oh shit, what happened here? Okay, whatever. Can you just declare war for it? No, I'm not claiming great for you, because you're Welsh, so we need to evict him. Make the claim on it. Since that's a revolt, we declare war on them first, and then these other two. Well, actually, just one. I think it's the same faction, right? Petty Kingdom of the... whatever it's called. Alright, we should be good to go now. So how many troops do we get from England now? It increased by a small amount. Okay, so... This is what we need first. We'll claim Gwent and also declare war for press all claims.
What I'm going to do is I'm not going to levy either um, Middle Francia or, or Aquitaine. Instead, I'm actually going to hire my own levies, because I haven't done that in a while. Because we've got heaps of money, so it's okay. And just let these guys have a bit of a rest. So that we can use their full levies up against the um, against, against someone that's a bit stronger. Plus, you know, they could use a bit of a rest. Yeah, they could just look at that minus 30. I've been uh, too aggressive with it. That being said, I need their ships to ferry these guys across. Just for a short time, and then we disband them. The boats, that is. I'm sure that with what we've got here should be sufficient to finish this off. Yep, call in our allies. Call in the, um, the Byzantines because we just want them to keep the other guys busy. If they reject, well, they lose a lot of prestige. Okay, we've been eating my ships again for a while, so just to stand them. Straight out sea, just sort of done quickly. Right, there's there's really not a whole lot of resistance in Britannia now. So that's, so that's done. Ah, we can convert that settlement. Good. So let me deal with this first. Good. Oh, it didn't... The fuck, it didn't build the other thing. Oh, whoa, well. All I have to do is wait for that. And then you come back over here and research cultural tech. So I've got allies here. Didn't mean the Byzantines already made it over here. Let me see. Oh, they, they only sent, like, a handful of troops. So we've got this. Okay, that needs to be handed over to to you. So don't worry about whatever settlements they capture. It matters not in the slightest. All we need to do is capture this settlement now and then that'll, that'll win us the war. So it seems like the total amount of resistance Oh, these guys here, they've slowly been capturing these regions. Surely England should go and deal with that. That might be why we're not getting as much levies, because these are, these are occupied. I'll send these guys over there to go and reclaim these, these settlements. Create the Kingdom of Wales. Yep, so that needs to be created so that the King of England doesn't create it. Now, Serbia, they're Catholic. They're. They actually don't hold. That's the only territory they hold in Serbia. Alright, so I'm going to start claiming these counties because they're my next target. Oh, 
one thing at a time. Like I said, it's time to use up our piety because we're starting to become an old man. I mean, like I said before, we could easily end this war, but maintaining this war provides us with uh, war score. So, uh, not not with war score, with uh, with uh, affinity with our uh, vassals. So it helps us out. If I was to raise these troops now, how many troops do we get? Uh, nothing extra. Alright, so claimed this. Now for this. We'll just take the entirety of Serbia. It's Sydney not holding back on it. Let me just see. Because this is actually part of the Kingdom of Serbia, but I said I was going to transfer that into Bavaria. claims that we need. What's with this UI, UI, UI missing text shit? I guess it doesn't matter. Alright, so we can now, against the King of Serbia, declare war for press all claims. So that's one, two, three, four claims. I'm just thinking. Yeah, because we'll have the Byzantines to help us out. And Avaria is kind of busy with other shit, so this this shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, call them in to help us do this. We'll need the entirety of the various troops, that's not a lot. Oh shit, that's not good. Why is this separate? Oh, sh I'm not her. Not my vassal. Oh, she's my vassal. I gotta transfer her into here. Or is she in open revolt or something? Right, yeah, she's revolting against, against him. I don't think he's doing a very good job. He's got a lot of shit going on. So this is Duchess Celine, is that right? Well, he's attacking, so he's just not going to be able to revoke Istria. That's all that means. Okay, so that's fine. Okay, Italy. Jeez, we don't get many troops from them. What's going on? Oh, he doesn't like me very much. What can we do about that? Award you an honorary title. You have this, and... Let's see, what is your plot here? Queen of Austrasia, I want you to stop that. Looks like a monkey. And we're gonna need Aquitaine's forces as well. Oh wow, that's a, that's a lot of troops. Good stuff, let's get moving. Don't think we need any more forces than this. Right, it's time for this to be transferred into um, Middle France here. So I need to make the claim on it. Okay, hand that over 
to it. Where is it? To Duchy of but no, not yet with that one. Uh, Duchy of Misen. I've got too many things. Why do I have two Duchy of Pomeranias? Oh, hang on, hang on. There's Pomerania and Pomeralia. Right. So let me just have a look at this. Hang on, pause that. Because this will hurt my relations if I get rid of one of these things. I didn't even know I had three. Duchy of Bronze. Hang on, where is it? Too many damn titles now. Pomerania. He already owns that, so I can just, just hand it over to him. Of... Pomerania. That should still remain mine. Yeah, okay, good. Because I need to revoke this because it's a filthy tribal barbarian. Yes. taken and now what should we do I think I'll just um, build a castle here because I got heaps of cash I don't want to have my steward come over here and deal with that to try and increase the tech okay the Byzantines have got 10,000 soldiers at least they're I don't know I don't even know what they're doing but um it's good they've got a lot of soldiers to come and help. Better that than them against me. I mean, they've got their own revolt going on, so... Just... If they don't participate, at least they're not in my way. Okay, too much attrition here. Let's just get on with this. 3.6%. Nah, it's okay. Let me just roll right over them quickly, and we'll take everything. Duchy of Dauphine. Excellent. That's great to see. So I'll look at that in a moment. Let's just continue smashing Serbia up. We're almost done with this war. Renewed Jihad. Jihad. Oh, it's it's time. The holy city of Jerusalem, where the prophet was taken up. Blah, 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 blah. So can we call Cruz... Oh, well, I can't do it right now. I have to be at peace. But let me just see if the option is actually available. So if I was to... Right, so I'm going to go ahead and enforce the man's here. Because we have to be at peace in order to um, call it Crusade. Probably shouldn't have wasted my troops on Serbia. Because if, if we're going to go for Sweden, it's going to really help. So it gives the Abbasids a bit of time of rest, I suppose. Another thing is, calling a Crusade costs 500 party, but you end up getting heaps of party from winning it anyway. Oh, I'm taking way too much attrition. It's okay, we, we recover the soldiers pretty quickly. The last thing we want is the Pope to call a crusade, because he'll usually call a crusade on somewhere really shit. He'll be like, crusade for Mongolia. No, don't call for Mongolia. We don't want that right now. Okay, we just need to win a battle. They should surrender soon, though. Rise of the Shia. Where? Okay, they've surrendered. Good. Goodbye, Serbia. Okay. 
Okay, so as I said, we'll hand all of this over to him. Now, I wonder if I can create the Kingdom of Croatia. So the Kingdom of Serbia has been destroyed with that, which is absolutely fine. I can recreate it again at a later date. So, like I said, where is it? Kingdom of Croatia can be created. Now that will give us Casus Belli over these areas here. Now, now that we're at complete peace, can we... Must have a valid Casus Belli. Okay, well, there's... I don't see the option for um, Crusaders yet, because we need to get the notification Crusader Kings. And it happens usually sometime in 900 AD. At least I think it does. Even, even with this, we have good diplomacy now. I wonder how many prisoners... 170. I tell you what though, it would be great if we could just be like, hey, could someone just... sell off all my... Um, prisoners, because I don't need this many. Some of them have had them for absolutely ages. Look for people that actually have titles, because those would be worth a lot more to sell. Otherwise, they're just useless idiots. I need to sell them off. Squeaky mouse wheel. Okay. Alright, so... I guess, we, yeah, we're just waiting for that notification so that we can call Crusades. What are you doing? So you're attacking an English Holy War for Albany. I'm fine with that. fighting. So you're attacking the cruel and Syrian holy war for Antioch. That's part of your de jure realm as per what I've decreed so I don't feel like I need to support him. I just don't need to get in his way. Militarily we should be good to make another attack on the Abbasids. They, they can't really resist us now. Not, I mean they've never won a war against us. He's only got 11,000. Now, if we have a look here, where did the Shia rise up? Right. All right, well, whatever. Let's just get on with um, attacking them. These these walls are quick, so let's do that. Oops. Where are we going to go for next? Lean towards this, but I don't know what it's called. Sorry. 
Sano. Alright, let's do it. I don't care about breaking the truce. Let's do it. Fuck prestige. Got plenty of it anyway. Um, yep, we can call in allies. Why not? Alright, Egypt, how many troops you got? Good, yes, it's been increasing. So these are these um, settlements have recovered their garrisons, but not their levies. triggers the Crusader King's um, notification. Because I want to go on Crusade. Maybe we're too powerful. So now it's like, you should have a delay on that. Okay, I think we're taking a bit too much attrition here. Let's just get on with this. Yeah, get in there, what does it matter? Hmm. You should not be commanding any troops. And it's not the end of the world if he does die, it's just I don't want him to, obviously. This is nothing to be concerned about. Just keep throwing troops at them. And of course, because we had a little bit of a rest, we're, we're taking a few casualties. But once we're once we're done here and we attack them again, it's not going to cost us anywhere near as many men. We're actually losing that. Fuck, Ascalon's hard to take. racking up those texts for the time being. Maybe we should build some universities to try and speed the, the process up a little bit. Oh yeah, I said I was going to go check that out, but I haven't done that yet. What are you doing? Holy Wolf Alexandria. No, 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 no. That can't be allowed. I'll take Alexandria in the next Holy War, because I can't let Africa take that. It doesn't de jure belong to them, as far as what I'm concerned. So we have to move very quickly. Luckily he hasn't really started yet. Alright, so what do we get? These over here. We've kicked the Abbasids, the Arabian Empire, out of Arabia. I mean, unless you consider the um, Jerusalem part of Arabia, which I guess... I mean, that's, that's kind of Arabia there. It doesn't matter. Okay, so that needs to be handed over to you. Good, he's actually got loads of children now. He's got a son. So his, his line is secure for the time being. Okay, good. Still need to conquer this for him, but uh, we can't conquer them through this method. Funny thing is, is 
The Abyssin could have actually probably repelled this. He's got a lot of troops. Okay, disband them. We'll re recruit them soon. Take that right about now. So, break that treaty. This time we're going for Alexandria because we don't want Africa to have it because it belongs to Egypt, not Africa. So our forces are a little bit diminished, but the thing is, of course, these settlements are far more diminished. So it should be much easier for us to conquer this shit now. You two go to here. We'll take this on its own. Probably don't need to call them in, but I could just keep doing it. There's not that many troops in there, but the, the siege equipment's not ready. So just hope and get to Ascalon. Start building up the siege equipment, because you're going to have to starve them out. We may not, we've got 20,000 soldiers here. Let's just attack them. Okay, at least next time we fight them, there, there's nothing left in Ascalon. I don't know why Ascalon's so hard. I mean, I do, they've got a lot of troops in there, that's why. 2,000 is, is a lot. You know, we get a bit of gold out of it as well. Nicely. There we go. And we've cock blocked Africa by doing that. So what, do you, what is what's Egypt doing here? So now, holy war for Demetia. Italy's not supposed to hold on to this. If we conquer this here. That's not good at all. Because I don't want to have to pry that out of Italy's hands to give it to Egypt. But if I conquer it now... Then we, you know, we lose a good base of operations with which to hit them. Because we're not done with them yet. see if I can call that crusade yet. No, not yet. Yeah, there's no request crusade option just yet. Should be coming in soon though. Okay, what are we going to hit next? I mean, there's only a few more duchies left to take and then we can finish them off. Let's see if we can do all of that before Italy takes takes that, because they've only got 422 men. Oh, but they, they're going after regions that we've already smashed up, so it's going to be quite easy for them. Well, let's just... I might actually have to go for this, because I don't, I don't want them to capture it. Like I said, it's going to make things... I mean, there's still Ascalon over here. We capture Ascalon and then we can just move up here and 
capture that. Then there's always these guys as well. We can start using their troops. Because the Abbasids, they don't have much strength, but it's going to reduce our speed. Okay, they've just brought in more troops here. We're going to have to do this or else it's just going to get lost to, to us anyway. The, the Italians will take that quite quickly. So, thanks, fucking Italians. Killing off a good thing for me. So, yeah, we have to get to it before they do. sick now. Look, if we end up losing that much piety, it's not the end of the world. Oh, right. Every time I call them into a wall, they, they get slightly more pissed off. I don't give a shit. You needed a Wi-Fi provided. No, I don't need your help with these walls. I just need you to sort of not get in my way, that's all. So a little method over here is finally coming to a close, but um, it's been it's been good while it's lasted. That's for sure. It won't be the leader of the siege there. This time Ascalon's barely got any defenders, so it's not anywhere near as difficult. And they surrender. Had to make sure Italy didn't get it, but that is a, a, that is pretty disappointing. So what am I doing? We've got Alright, let's, let's deal with this shit first. Now my forces are a little bit diminished, but still, the Abbasids, they're, they're pretty much gone now. They're, they're scattered, very easy to beat. And as long as the Byzantines stay out of our wars, as in, not stay out of our wars, don't get involved against us, we're fine. They're the only ones that can resist us now. Except for India, but India doesn't ever seem to get involved. Let me just see, are they in any defensive packs against me? Yeah, they are. So this is the... So they're actually Muslims. We go far out here, and none of them are in a defensive pact against us. In the Indians mind their own business. Okay, so the Danzig tribe, we have to deal with that. Oh, I see. I built this. Might as well start transferring all this stuff, because if you get sick and die at the age of 52, we want to try and have spent as much of the stuff as possible. It's good to see that all of these guys here are actually direct vassals, so all I need to do is actually retract the vassal. So hand it back to um, Egypt. But it's not urgent. We can wait until we're completely done. Like, we can declare war on them again. Yeah, we should be fine. And as they get less territory... Why couldn't I declare war? Oh, right. Give me units here. Why didn't we give that back? Ok, 
Okay, so once again, let's attack this... What the fuck? Why can't I declare war? Oh, we don't have any prestige. Okay, that's fine. Um... Alright, then we might as well fight someone out here. I, had, I made the claim here, so... Time for Saxony to be... I thought I made the claim. Well, maybe it hasn't actually come through yet. Let me see. Oh, I must have claimed something else. Maybe I claimed, like, the county. Yeah, that's what I did. Ah, silly boy. That's okay, well, we're, we're gonna die with heaps of piety anyway. So, that's fine. And this guy here, he's French, so he can hold on to his territory, that's okay. So this guy here, tribal barbarian. Okay, let's sort out his region. Okay, transfer Hamburg into here. And Lundberg. Alright, let's just see how that goes now. Vote. Hang on, let's... Okay, it's got the technology required, so we'll just we'll just hold on to it and proselytize here. Good. Both of this can we can just hand it the Duchy of Saxony straight over to them. Please don't tell me. I gave him the goddamn kingdom and he's got Pomerania. How did... Oh, I must have given him the kingdom at some point. That's what I did. Instead of the duchy. I've made this mistake multiple times. Fucking hell. Please tell me I can put him in jail. No. So dumb. Alright, well I'll just have to make... I'll have to clean up that mistake later. I gotta stop doing that. I just the thing is, I've got too many kingdom titles. All right, well, whatever. Okay, it's not a huge deal. I mean, this this guy here still got um, Pomerania, not Pomerania, Navarra. Okay, so this is just a very quick war, I think. Just. Claim defend or whatever it's called. Just send him in by himself. I approve. So he likes me a lot. It must have been an accident. I didn't even know he had it. I don't do these things on purpose. It's just, you know, you got to keep it at a reasonable pace with these campaigns. The thing is, when you have duchy titles, that are the same name as the kingdom titles. All I'm looking for is Pomerania or um, Saxony. I didn't didn't check for the kingdom of it, and it just gets it just gets lost in the crowd there. Okay, that's 
given me enough prestige to go and hit those other guys. So you have this. Let's make sure I don't give him whales. Now, let's see how we're going to go about this now. Okay, I think we'll finish taking them down over here. Cool, let's do them. Egypt doesn't have that many troops, considering how large it is, but it's... Well, here's an idea. Why don't we bring them in there, and at the border here, we hire both Syria and them, and then we just continue to hit them from here. So that's sort of like our new our new territory that we'll, we'll do it on. Because that's actually, that's 20,000 soldiers. We can do with that. We've got 20,000 there and 30,000 here. Yeah, we can we can still continue going, even with the, the loss of that punching bag. Kicking myself for giving them the kingdom, because prying it away from them, that is a pain to deal with. Like, I could just outright revoke it and just accept a minus 30 penalty for five years. He might rise up against me. He might not. If he rises up against me, I can take the Kingdom of Pomerania away from him. Who's this? Is this someone just throw him in jail? If he's sending so many troops, we are taking attrition. Nutrition here is pretty bad as well, probably because it's out in the bloody desert. But oh well, we make do. Jeez, this cost me 5,000 men. At least there's a lot of regions here. That certainly helps us war score. Then again, next time we come over here, we'll, we will hardly need any troops. So that's not a big deal. So he must have conquered Albany if, he, if the Holy War succeeded. I remember he had a holy war for it. Going for it. Good. <sighs> and they surrender. Okay, so this needs to be handed over to Egypt. Not particularly valuable territory, but you know we gotta start. Gotta be cleaning up shop here. It's just the last little dregs of Abbasid territory. There's absolutely no purpose at all in creating a kingdom of Abyssinia. I mean, we'll create the kingdom of Abyssinia. We won't just. We just won't. We'll try and make sure it gets destroyed if that makes sense. Then we declare, oh hang on, I can't declare one of them while I've still got levies. County of Marienburg. Okay, well this gives us the, the opportunity to fix it up. Okay, time to declare war again. Why can't I declare war? Oh right, we don't have enough prestige. Okay. Then we come back over here and go and smash these guys up.
And this will be the complete annexation of Wales. Once we've done this, I'll probably need to send a few reinforcements in. Possibly. So, press all claims. And he's got 5,000 men. Uh, it's not enough. Alright. Raise... Just raise my troops, because I use I use my vassal strip quite probably too much. Just use their boats. Seventy six is plenty. back for the rest later. something constructing in most regions but we're we've all in some of these other ones we just um we just uh, haven't got the required tech for it yet all right we probably don't even need the reinforcements there so just um let's just finish this off Burgundy has been relegated to a very tiny region here now. Good, this is transferring over. And these ones over here don't have much longer. So, do I own the Kingdom of Brittany? Did I end up, end up creating it? I can't remember. <coughs> Let me just check. Yeah, I've got it. So, we need to destroy it once it's been converted over. don't feel like any of these troops. And since they're my personal troops, I don't want to pay for them. Good. He lives a little while longer. He's been a good king. Probably the greatest conqueror we've had so far. Really haven't had to, I don't think we've had to deal with any civil wars at all. It's all thanks to keeping things nice and tidy. Good job. That has given us enough prestige to go and smash up the Abbasids a little bit more. There you go, you're now the Kingdom of England and Wales. Just look at the, the Wales title. In a hundred years we can destroy Wales. The title that is. Now. What should we get this time? Like we, we I guess we want to try and finish finish this off. Um some of these settlements down here are like just tribal shit. I'm gonna go for Axon. There's a lot of Egyptian forces available for us now. Recruit them there right now. I 
Gotta make use of this uh, alliance that we have with him for as long as we can. Be as aggressive as possible, because I'm sure the next reign is going to require a hell of a lot of consolidation. Like, we've got to undo the few mistakes that we've made. Like, uh, Navarra over here, that needs to be pulled away. Uh, Pomerania and Saxony needs to pull be pulled away. But that's really about it. These will need to be pulled away. Once we, you know, finish up dealing with the, um... With the Abbasids once and for all. Because they've still got quite a bit of territory. It's just really spaced out now. I don't want anything to do with your plots. I'm not a plotter. I'm a conqueror. My schemes are out in the open. Not leader of the siege. Okay, if you're not leader of the siege, then wait. We got Persia there. What is Persia up to? He is Tabriz. Well, that is a territory that that I want you to have, just not right now. I'm not going to help him take it though. So come over here then. If he wins, he wins. If not. We'll eventually give it to him, just not right now. At least he didn't go after a region he's not supposed to have. It's a lot of attrition. But we got so many soldiers that it's fine. Just my kingdom of Syria can take on the Abbasids on their own now. Okay, we're at 86. You guys get over here. Because they'll surrender soon. And they surrender. So this gets handed over to Egypt. I've got 1,717 holdings within my empire. That's, that's a fucking ton of them. Absolutely heaps. Okay, so now we just need to disband these troops and we just keep on going at them. I want the episodes gone as quickly as possible. I'm, I'm done with them. Well, I'm not done with them, like, I just want them to be done. Now they're going after Simon. Well, that's not good. I'd rather them go after me. Because if we die now, the chances of us living to 70 are pretty low. That's if we have a son, like, right away. Um, I think I will send him into hiding. Hopefully it doesn't fuck him up too much. He's not very well. To lower his prestige, that doesn't really matter too much. Can't risk it. Okay, so now what do we do? A uh, loss of prestige. If I usurp this, all right, let's have a look at what titles we can create. So, Kingdom of Great Moravia. It's a titular kingdom. Nobody's going to create it, so I don't need to do that. What else? Kingdom of Castile, titular. Aragon, titular. Portugal. K 
Kingdom of Arabia needs to be created and not handed over to Syria. Otherwise they'll create it if I don't create it. Okay, and there's there's our prestige. Okay, good stuff. Alright. Definitely don't do Ascalon. Alright, we'll go with that. Also, us constantly bashing these regions up will make it easier for them to eventually take it. So. You're in a bit of shit, aren't you? Okay. Alright, looking at text again. I really want to improve castle infrastructure some more. It's quite ahead of schedule. That will give us access to Castle Town 4, which will increase our income as well. Because once we get a heap load of income coming in, we can actually start building um, retinue armies. Not, not just yet. I don't really need any of the other things. And since most of those other buildings are pretty much finished, we just need to get... Moving on to the next level of construction. Okay, that, that needs to finish off first. Plus, with that higher, um, the technology will spread to neighboring regions. Okay, this time we'll just send a small detachment over here, because it's still damaged. Need the full force of it. This is a great region for um four score. Okay, then let's hit this. So we're already at 90%, you probably just just um, go to a neighbouring region when we're done with this. Same with you, they'll, they'll surrender at 90%. I'd be very super- there we go, so... Yeah, I, I accept. What are we doing? Doesn't matter. Okay, so what do I need next? But I can get this area here. Okay, good. Oops. Not particularly rich territory, but there's not much left that is rich of what they've what they've got. You know, these here, I, I can't even be willing to wait. No, actually, no, don't do that. It's a stupid thing to do. Disband them. Lose half their strength straight off the bat. So they've got a bit of a revolt going on, but I'm not sending any troops to go help them. I don't give a shit. Okay, what are you doing? You are attacking... Holy Wolf for Armenia. Okay, I'll need to take Armenia next, because this is not supposed to belong to him. So... If we create the Kingdom of Armenia, what what territories are we going to grant it? Armenia, Anatolia, Trebizond, Georgia, and Greece. When we get a hold of that, will be Greece, Bulgaria, Wallachia. So 
suppose. Alright, so I'm going to need to create a title. Because we need prestige. Okay, so we're going for Armenia because we definitely don't... Oh, hang on. Just, let's just double check to make sure what, what they're going after. No, Syrian Holy War for Oman. So that's what we need to go for. But if I had gone for the wrong one... Well, it wouldn't matter. I'd probably still do three wars before they finished. So... Where is it? Wait, hang on. I don't think they're going up against the Abbasids for that. They're going up against these guys. That's okay. If they want to conquer that, no problem. Okay. I thought they were going up here. That's actually really good they've done that. Saves me the time. Alright, so I thought they were going for Armenia. So Persia... I said it would be Persia, Bulkistan, Afghanistan. Suppose they can get Kiva as well. Whoops. I'm not ready to, to, to create Armenia just yet. Where's Wag? That's a very small province. Tabriz, no, don't go for that. That's a pretty large region. That'll help um, Persia get more powerful. Alright, let's do it. So, same shit as before. I probably don't even need to recruit Persia's forces. Because the thing is, it's a long distance between there. That's why we chose this, this region here to do this, because all the regions are tightly packed together. You can move across it very quickly. At the time it takes these guys to conquer four regions, they've done one. Damaged. Yeah, we've got this. Well, even with this number, they still take attrition. I was just thinking, once we've conquered India, yeah, that's a, it's a, ri it's very rich territory out there, if I recall. But we're getting ahead of ourselves there with that. And then just walk away. Finish off Haskellon, and then they'll probably surrender soon. Ninety-three percent good. Get him out of the region. Wait, did we finish? We didn't finish it here. Gotta finish the job. Maybe we don't even need to take this one. Because now that their realm is getting smaller, it's, um... We need less war... It's easier to get war score out of them, because they're, you know, they're just not so large. Okay, which region was it? This one here. So this is going over to Persia. Fuck adhering to um, peace treaties. Who cares about prestige? Look at what we've done. Okay. 
Okay, hand that over to you. Well, your dynasty is definitely secure. I mean, it's the same dynasty, I mean, your, your line. So, Persia's all good. Good to see, because I don't really want to have to go hunting for more bloody Carling dynasty members. It was easier at the beginning of the campaign. But we still, we haven't even hit 1066 yet. But our, our dynasty, if we have a look at this, we've got, how many living members are there? 79 living members. You know, it's like fucking digging through sand to find it pebble. It's n not easy to find. Uh, I don't know, maybe you can find a pebble pretty easily in sand. Whatever. Bad analogy. Um, I'm going to create another duchy. Wait, didn't I create a duchy over here and I didn't hand it over to Syria? Not you. Because I can't be having too many duchies. Just be careful because I've been known to hand over... I don't, I don't know where Sana is. Okay. Yeah, hand that one over. I've been known to hand over kingdoms when I'm not supposed to. Accidentally. Because the thing is, when handing over counties is easy, I just go down the bottom of the list. See, I, I must have given him the kingdom of Pomerania instead of the duchy. God damn it. That's going to cost me, but whatever. Alright, so, declare war again. Where are we going this time? Not particularly rich territory, but uh, we're running out of rich territory to take. Let's count how many... Oh, there's still a lot of holy wars to do. Like, we're, we're not... We're not close to finishing. Well, we definitely passed halfway, obviously. Definitely passed three quarter way. Ascalon, no, that's the last region we need to take. Bulkistan. Yeah, alright, we'll go for that. But you three go there, and you two go there. <laughs> Minus 180. But it only lasts seven years. Oh, you desire the kingdom of Croatia, do you? Well, I'm not giving it to you. So, I think at this stage, how the fuck do we have a faction against us? Alright, who, who wants independence, the motherfuckers? Alright, so we've got here, King of Andalusia. Maybe I've been raising the levels, levies too much. So, Aquitaine's minus 39, and um, Andalusia's just minus 10. So, Aquitaine. Was there anything I was supposed to provoke from Aquitaine? Like, there's this over here. Now, Andalusia. What can we... I mean, I've had my diplomat there. It's, I guess he's just... Hmm. Okay, let's have a look at the problems here. Raised levies, obviously, is a big deal. It's funny how just two of these guys show up in the... In the, um, in the Resist Legend faction. And um, it's enough to overthrow me, just about. Oh, actually, that's, that's not the one that's the problem. It's this one here. So, it's it's Andalusia. Oh no! You mother of fucker! In he somehow managed to get England, which means this is probably being incorporated into Africa. I shouldn't have given the England title. Alright, um, here comes the time of consolidation. 
Well, let's just deal with this first. So yeah, some very powerful vassals there. The thing is though, we can use this to our advantage because now we can levy all of Africa's forces of what the fuck happened here. There must have been a few holy wars. Yeah, shit. Well, that's good and everything, but, um... Well, I don't know. Actually, no, no. You can leave now. So, yeah. I think we'll go pick on Scotland for a little while. After this. I'm not certain, because the thing is, if I give him some titles in Scotland, that'll get him out of the, um, the faction. being said, if they were to revolt against me, I can call in the Byzantines. Alright, I'm going to sort this out. Not that the Byzantines would be that useful. This wasn't a particularly rich territory. So yeah, this is, it's sort of like what I was saying before. How do I get my oh, right, let's see. Um Where King of England, I don't know what happened to his line, but it died out. Or maybe he inherited Africa, I don't know. But whatever the case is, someone didn't have enough sons, and now I have to pay the price. But you know it happens. So. Okay, good, this is finished. So we can hand this directly over to, to here. So yeah, I don't see the need to, to um, To revoke those titles off him just yet, because I'm going to need him some need his support in the wars to come. So yeah, like I said, with him we can levy five because he doesn't like us. Actually, he does like us. So I'll award him some honorary titles just for the time being, and we're going to use his armies to now finish off Britannia. And I'll send you a gift. Oh, and that's too much. Okay. So how many troops can we get off now? Six thousand. Considering that's that's quite a few kingdoms worth of territory, that's not a lot of troops. So because you're what's this? Oh, we've raised levies. Okay. So by not recruiting these guys for a little while, that should fix things. Okay, well the, the faction stuff's gone. Yeah, just bring him in, and how many troops can we get out of this? Yeah, like I said, 6,000. It's not enough. We're going to need to send some reinforcements. Alright, who, though? Middle France here, we can rely on 7,000 troops. These guys we can rely on... ...a bit. Ah, oh, 
this is going to be such a difficult task of prying all this away from itself. Wait a second, hang on. We might not need to. What might happen is that he's the heir, right? It's going to... Sp this guy is heir to the Kingdom of England, and he's going to heir to the Kingdom of Africa. It'll split. Okay. So, regardless, while we've got use of this, let's just, um... Let's just finish off Britannia. This is going to be... It's going to be stupid if it absolutely fucks things up, which it, it may very well. Um, alright. I'll hire my personal troops for a little while. Because, yeah, we need to, we need to give, um... Aquitaine a bit of a break. And I'm sure we can do the whole war with with uh, just those. Yeah, get that castle turn, more income. just fit on the boats. But also, like I said, there's there's not much resistance out here. So this guy here, the Isle of Man... Alright, we'll claim that. So I'll start making a rapid conquest of Ireland as well. And next time we go to war with them, we should go for the islands that are kind of hard to reach. As in, for the war target. Good. So far, so good with this war. Yeah, there's a village or two around here. Not a big deal. I just don't like to suffer any villages. I like to get rid of them all. So tribes, I mean. Hopefully they surrender soon, because we're going deep into an enemy territory here. over here so they can be disbanded without losing all the troops. Okay, so there were some Catholics in this area, but it's not a big deal. Alright, so I'm going to hand them over to him and we'll tidy things up once we've conquered the entire British Isle, I suppose. Also, by doing this, he's going to like me even more. We'll be able to get more of his levies. <coughs> so now he gives us Apparently not. Oh, hang on, because I've already got some levy raised. So now he offers 10,000 just on his own. So 
So this one here is next. Very quick wars is one settlement. Let's start getting our claims down now. It'd be good if I could just like take it all with one war, but I, I can't do that. Because of the defensive pact. Now what's going on in the Middle East? Egypt is... Okay, not doing anything. Whoops. Okay, I am just going to hand this over to them. This can be sorted out another time. Actually, no, you know what I'll do? I'll... I'll build this... I can't build it. Well, whatever, I'll just build... Build temple there anyway. And... Grant him... I thought I put claim on this. Oh, fuck me, I went for the Duchy of Man. Um, shit. Alright, what I'm going to need to do now is actually claim the actual thing and just revoke it from him. Not a big deal. Uh, I'm going to need to give him the duchy. Wait, just, just wait until we've done this first. I don't want this Welshman hanging around. Get rid of him. I might actually hold on to that rather than giving it to them. But I will give him the duchy. How many duchies am I holding now? I can easily check. I've got three duchies. Alright, which one do I need to get rid of? Duchy of Brunswick. Alright, we can give that to, to them. That's no problem. I can give them all three of them, actually. But since I need to revoke those titles, maybe I won't bother. So where are we going next? Ulster? Got 11,000 troops available. Should be pretty easy, let's do it. Now, can I create the Kingdom of Scotland? No, well he's still the King of Scotland. Super easy. And now we just basically just roll right over. Um, okay, we can just convert this straight away. Upgrade to castle. Very nice. Okay, well I can hand Ulster over to uh, to these guys. Okay, 
Okay, what do we want to hit next? I mean, we can hit, hit this, I suppose. All right, there's two claims. Okay, let's end the episode here. Yeah, actually, I better just let this pass before I forget about it. We'll end the episode here as soon as I've made this claim. And if I remember, I'll declare war on them. Beginning of next turn, uh, next episode. Alright. Actually, I'll tell you what we do. We declare war on them now. That way, I'll f I'm forced to remember. Okay, so. The situation is we have conquered just an absolute fucking ton of territory. I'm surprised that we haven't got the Crusader Kings notice yet. So we have, we're not able to call any Crusades. But we almost don't even need to because the amount of territory that we're taking wholesale is just off the charts. Like, look how big we are. And it's... We've been playing for 136 years. Anyway, that's the end of this episode. So like and subscribe. Part 15, I think, is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.